Well, um, yeah, sorry. I know. Normally I have videos out in the morning. I had an extremely busy day at work and there's a ton of news, so we're just going to jump right into it with a bunch of Pokemon news, including release dates for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh boy, things are heating up here in the world of Nintendo. All right, we're not going to sit here and make you wait a whole bunch longer. We got some stuff to talk about. We got box art for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Announcement of a dual pack, which isn't surprising. They did the same thing with Sword and Shield. Uh, and yeah, we'll be talking about Pokemon Legends Arceus and the box art for that. Release dates, everything. So let's get into the recap here. We have a bunch of stuff. And then we'll kind of revisit something Samus Hunter has previously said about these Pokemon games and what's going on. And why today was a bit of a surprise, since people were expecting this to be announced in a Pokemon Presents. And this makes you wonder, are we not going to get a Pokemon Presents? That's something we have to start thinking about. So, it says the Pokemon Company has announced the official release dates for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Pokemon Legends Arceus. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl remakes of the original Diamond and Pearl on Nintendo DS will launch on November 19th. So, just before Black Friday. Not a surprise. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus will follow very shortly after, really shortly after, on the 28th of January, 2022. Uh, yeah, Legends Arceus is obviously a completely new take on the series, has an ex a vast open world version of Sinnoh, and as we know, uh, it is now a prequel to Diamond and Pearl, coming out after Diamond and Pearl, but you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, really, really exciting stuff. Um, I'm, I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked in general uh, for Pokemon Legends Arceus. I don't know if it's going to be all it's cracked up to be, and I know there were some people doubting it was even going to release in early 2022. Well, it's not just releasing in early 2022. It's basically releasing as early as it possibly can by coming out in January. This does make me wonder when the heck Breath of the Wild's coming. Could it also release in November with Diamond and Pearl? Is it going to be a March release now, two months after? Are they going to wait till after Legends Arceus comes out? Is it going to be an October release, a December? I have no idea, right? And that's assuming we're even getting it in the next year. Nintendo has not given us a release date for it. But let's go back to the Pokemon. So we got some box arts as well. Uh, up on the screen right now, you can see box arts for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And I got to say... Um, they're kind of stock standard box arts. It kind of looks like something, in my opinion, a fan could create. Uh, but it looks nice. The color contrast is nice. You got kind of the blue and sort of the pinkish style going on with the contrasting, you know, diamond and pearl. Um, the logo's obviously rating pending. I mean, it looks nice. It, it's nothing that, you know, rocks my world, but they typically don't rock your world when it comes to Pokemon box art. It's pretty stock standard stuff uh, where they feature like a legendary Pokemon and all that. So, yeah, it looks nice. Uh, what's interesting, obviously, is the box art for Pokemon Legends Arceus because the box art for Pokemon Legends Arceus, as you're seeing right now, uh, is, is, is kind of like fan art, right? It, it's... It's not like in a render or anything. It almost looks like the animated series, you know? It's very interesting that they went with this style box. So you got the, the giant mountain volcano thing in the background. Uh, obviously, in the foreground, you got some Pokemon. Obviously, you guys can maybe uh, you know, recognize Citadel and Citaquel. I don't know. I'm, I'm not very good with my Pokemon names. Uh, obviously, Pikachu and some others there as well. Uh, it, it's very interesting to see this. Obviously, you have the, the, the male and female dynamic because you could choose either or uh, in Pokemon games. I'm, I'm very... Um, I, I really, what I'm, at this point, with this game coming out, right? It's coming out in seven months. We're seven months away from Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm very curious, you know, gameplay-wise. Last time we saw the game, it was exciting. It was promising, but it also looked a little bit rough, especially with the frame rate. It really looked like it was chugging a bit. Now, that doesn't mean that that's not some early alpha build that's going to be all ironed out by beta, let alone going gold. But obviously, we've never seen a game this ambitious from Game Freak. And they have put a lot of development time, supposedly three years of development time, I have heard, into Pokemon Legends Arceus. So we're going to have to wait and see what this game ends up becoming, uh, if it ends up being everything it's cracked up to be. We've heard things about how they are trying to uh, make this a big deal make this their breath of the wild uh one other thing that's really cool about all of this is they are also releasing a dual a, a, what they call a double pack i don't see a price listing for it just yet um you know maybe it's going to be a uh, hundred dollars so you can save 20 bucks maybe it's just going to be 120 bucks and it's both in one box um i i don't know 
Uh, and there was also a small update for Pokemon Home. Uh, so the mobile version of Pokemon Home is receiving a welcome update next month that'll add new features and reward players with two special Pokemon. Firstly, a new catch calendar feature will allow you to view your Pokemon arranged by the dates in which you caught them. The idea here is you'll be able to track them uh, when you caught your very first Pokemon right up to the day you finally grab the biggest, baddest legendary around. It's also that you set special dates like anniversaries, your birthday, and the day you first met your favorite Pokemon. It'll also update the Pokedex functionality inside the app after installing the update. You'll be able to view Pokemon from different angles giving you a better look at each and every monster in your collection. As for special Pokemon, well, the new update also brings with it a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle, both of which can be transferred to your copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield, and both which can gain a uh, uh, Gigantamax uh, when fully evolved. If you already uh, got the special Gigantamax Charmander from Leon in-game, you'll soon have that full set from the original uh, games. No specific date has been provided for the update, but June's obviously coming up, and we're probably going to still get a Pokemon event because we didn't see gameplay. So a Pokemon Presents is likely. I just find it interesting that before a Pokemon event, before E3, when they're going to clearly show gameplay of these games, that we're not like, you know, they're, they're, they're dropping release dates. That's what I find funny. This is how they chose to drop release dates and information. Pokemon Home, obviously, uh, being one of those things that, you know, you can get on your phone. What's, what's cool here is... um. Samus Hunter uh, went out and responded to all of this uh, because she's been teasing some of these updates, the release dates, all that jazz. Um, you know, and, it's, uh, and she goes, as I said, there are several updates planned for already released titles. Uh, this is in regards to Pokemon Home. Uh, they seem to be revealing several pieces of information in advance, however. Uh, they're still missing key details, such as trailers and information on update dates, which, again, that's something that I feel like is going to come into Pokemon Presents. I'm still on the train we're getting a Pokemon Presents despite this information coming out today. Um, what's also uh, um, is, they, is they stayed with the original period set for Diamond and Pearl when it first came out. Um, and it said this announcement was actually unexpected, even by Samus Hunter. Uh, but she's going to try in the next couple of days to find out more updated information on the business plans for the Pokemon Company. Because she does know the Pokemon Company operates independently of Nintendo. Uh, so it's really hard for her to get information specifically uh, in regards to that. But um, she did mention all the stuff that we were going to get updates on Pokemon before E3. And we did. This isn't the way she thought we were going to get it. She thought it'd be a Pokemon Presents. But whatever. I still expect a Pokemon Presents. And I think for the most part, uh, you guys kind of expect one as well. So honestly, I'm going to throw this out to you guys. I got so many other news videos I want to get to before our podcast tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, featuring Rule of Two Review. Uh, we got a lot to talk about, clearly. Uh, this has been already a very busy week. So we got tons to talk about. But I want to throw it to you guys. What are your thoughts on these release dates? Are you planning on picking up Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl? Are you planning on picking up Pokemon Legends Arceus? Are you planning to pick up all three of the games? Uh, what are your plans for Pokemon? Do you use Pokemon home are you excited about the pokemon home update are you sword and shield fans that would like to get squirtle uh and bulbasaur through there and get the gigantamax forms and all that you guys let me know i'm not big into pokemon as of yet but pokemon legends arceus has me interested that could be the game that brings my pokemon fandom from gen 1 and gen 2 full circle again so I'm pretty excited for that one. I just need to see more footage. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I end with Andrew Robojance from Nintendo Prime. And I got to move on to the next video. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.